Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers. It is about 4.35 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So as you know, I'm keeping you an update in news. This is the latest It Gets Worse news for the morning. So it says, and I quote, Vladimir Putin says, delivered a nuclear warning to the West over Ukraine, suspending a unilateral nuclear arms treaty. I already addressed that, right? Speaking nearly a year to the day, he says, systems have been put on combat duty and warns that Moscow can resume nuclear tests. Uh-oh. Gotta get your potassium iodine. Yeah. Russia would achieve its war aims and accuse the West of destroying Russia. The elites of the West do not hide their purpose, but they cannot fail to realize that it's impossible to defeat Russia on the battlefield. There you go. A defiant Putin told his country's political and military elites, cautioning the United States it was stoking the war into a global conflict. Putin said the Russian was suspending participant New START Treaty, the last major arms control treaty between Moscow and Washington. It's limited in number of nuclear warheads, blah, 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 you know. Mm. Uh, a week ago, I signed a decree on putting new ground-based strategic systems on combat duty. Are they going to stick their nose in there too or what? It was not immediately clear which ground-based system had put on combat duty. Putin and said Ukraine had sought to strike a facility deep inside Russia where some of its nuclear bombers are based, a reference to Ingalls Air, Face, Air Force Base. Russia and the U.S. has vast arsenal of nuclear weapons left over from the Cold War and remain by far the biggest nuclear powers between them hold 9% of the world's nuclear warheads. The New START Treaty limited both sides with 1,550 warheads on deployment, intercontinental ballistic missiles, submarine ballistic missiles, and heavy bombers. Both sides met the central limits by 2018. The Kremlin warning mm -hmm. can dismantle the architect and nuclear arms control, including the big powers mo moratorium and nuclear testing attempt to get the West to back off of Ukraine. The U.S. dropped nuclear bombs in Jap Japan, Japanese city of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. Other powers sought to develop their own nuclear weapons, and over 2,000 tests were conducted during the Cold War. Yeah. Since the Soviet Union collapsed, only a few countries have tested nuclear weapons. According to the Arms Control Association, last in 1992, China, 1996, India, 1998, North Korea, 2017. Putin said he had information that the United States was developing new types of nuclear weapons in the U.S. Hmm, that's interesting. Wouldn't surprise me, but it's interesting. Rosa Tom must ensure readiness for the testing of nuclear weapons, Putin said. The U.S. said its 2022 nuclear posture review that Russia and China are expanding and modernizing their nuclear force, and Washington would pursue an approach based on arms control to head off the costly arms race. Impossible defeat. Speaking one hour, 45 minutes below a large emblem bearing the two headed eagle of Russia. Flanked by total eight tricolor Russian flags, all right, whatever. Um, he also sought to justify the war, saying it's been forced in Russia and that they understood the pain of the families who have fallen in battle. The West would be NATO member Ukraine reject the narrative and say NATO expansion eastward since the end of the Cold War is no justification for what they say is an imperial style land grab doomed to failure. People of Ukraine have become the hostage of Kyiv regime and its western overlords who have distinctly occupied the country in the political, military, and economic sense. They intend to transform a local conflict in a phase of global concentration. That was exactly how we understood it. We'd react accordingly because in this case we're talking about the existence of our country. Russia would never yield to western attempts to devise its society said the 70-year-old Kremlin chief, adding the majority Russian support the war. Gee, I know a Russian transgender woman that doesn't support the war. Hmm. So, there's another article I wanted to share with you that was interesting, to say the least. 
So another article that is, I don't know how to explain it, but Russia summons the American ambassador over involvement in Ukraine again, nuclear war. Russia's foreign minister center U.S. ambassador to Russia, Lynn Tracy, on Tuesday saying it was in connection with the growing involvement of the U.S. in hostilities on the side of the Kiev regime. Hmm, well, maybe Kiev regime is a dictator. The ministry said in a statement the note the protested handover the ambassador emphasizes that pumping the armed forces of Ukraine with weapons as well as giving target designation for strikes against Russian military and civilian infrastructures clearly proves the inconsistency and falsity of the statements of the American side that the United States is not part of the conflict. Hmm. In this regard, the ambassador was told that the current aggressive course of the U.S. to deepen confrontation with Russia in all areas is counterproductive. Hmm. Another threat. The statement added that Washington must take steps that involve the withdrawal of U.S. NATO military and equipment, as well as the cessation of hostile anti-Russian activities. Hmm. So, we're getting to the point where we are going to see war. Think about it. Yeah. So think about that. Chew on that. And I will get back to you once there's some more news. Think about it. Prep like your life depends on it, people. The crap's getting real. And it's getting real fast. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will continue to keep you updated. Please add subscribe, post comments, leave feedback, suggestion. Post comments, leave feedback suggestion hit like subscribe button it's wholesome fun for your family thanks for again and god bless you and everything you do